Hi everyone, this is Grace. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are staying well and in, indoors throughout this uh, coronavirus um, situation. I, you know, here in Maryland, uh, most businesses are closed. The one saving grace is that we still have our post office open. And um, I am very thankful about that because it's allowed me to write to my pen pals all over the world. And um, I'm going to share a little tutorial with you of something I made to resemble a wallet. And I'll just show you the finished product. So um, this is basically like a little uh, suitcase case or clutch um, and it's supposed to have a very worn or weathered look and it was very easy to make all I did was use construction paper and um, you know I like to work with recycled things uh, so when you open it up I've um, created a little pocket to put my letter in it uh, I've written a letter to a pen pal I won't open it but basically you just close it and pop it in an envelope and um, send it off. It's just a little fun pocket to, to put your things. Of course, you could add more, be a little bit more creative and add more pockets on the side, you know, to insert stickers, washi tape. But um, I wanted to keep this very, very flat. One of the things that I'm so aware of right now is um, finances. You know, there's a lot of people who don't have jobs because of coronavirus and um, people staying at home. So, you know, it's just a matter of time where the effects of it will be felt by many. And I, I, to be honest, I don't know how it's going to be affecting my family. So in the meantime, I just wanted to keep costs really low and not spend a lot of money on postage because in the US, for example, if you send a flat, piece of a letter to a pen pal anywhere in the world it's just going to cost you a dollar fifteen but if you pop a tea bag in the mail it creates a bump and it immediately it becomes a parcel and just like that it's thirteen dollars so i i can't afford to send like 10 pieces of thirteen dollar each um, mail to to my friends i just want to be a little bit more careful about that yeah that that's that's where i'm coming from so you know feel free to add your own things in it you know if you have a different postage system so with, without further ado i'm just going to start um here i've just got a you know construction paper that i took from my son when he uh, used to have a lot of projects in kindergarten. Yes, I kept all my stuff for this long and I thought it would be nice to pull it out and start using some of the paper that, um, you know, have been sitting around. So I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not going to have any specific measurements. So I'm keeping in mind here that I this is going to be a flap. So you don't want to get, you know, fold it too close to the edge and not have much of a flap. So I would say about maybe four and a half inches mm, yeah i'm just gonna eyeball it i'm not going to be extremely um accurate here and i'm just gonna fold it down okay so now i've got my lines i'm just going to add packaging paper so this comes with you know any packaging when you order cereal you have paper like that round paper so all I did was uh, cut out a piece and crumple it to give it the more uh, beaten look and I'm just going to glue it down here. So at the next few moments, I'm just going to be gluing it down and I'm going to speed this up so that you don't have to watch me doing it. So while it's drying, I'm just going to trim down the sides and I'm sorry for hitting the camera. Um, this is the first time I'm using this setup. My husband was so nice. He bought me a stand for Christmas. 
and um, this is the first time I'm using it actually so I'm using a a rotary cutter because I'm more of a sewer than you know I, I sew and, and quilt a lot so I use this to cut my paper I find that it's quicker and probably sharper than um, the cutters that I own Well, so the next part, I'm just, while I'm letting it dry, I actually have a printout of, you know, of stickers, um, which I found on a website, which I will leave a link for you. The graphics are free. I've just printed them on label paper, you know, the, the ones that uh, you use to send out addresses, you know, for labelings. So I printed these travel stickers and I've cut them out in advance so that um, you know you don't have to watch me doing it here on the video but uh, before I um, stick these on I want to sew around the edges and I'll show you um, I don't have my sewing machine here but um, what I'm going to do is Hold it up, it's going to look like this, right? And it's still pretty wet, so I have to be very gentle. So I'm just going to sew a square, a rectangle around here, and then separately a big rectangle around here. I'll just take it offline and sew. Um, and then I'll come back and, and show you what I've done. Hi everyone, I'm back from my sewing machine. And as you can see, I've sewn all around the flap and also around the body of the envelope. And the next step is to put in the flap, or sorry, not the flap, the strap or the buckle. And uh, how I created this buckle was out of uh, junk mail. So if you turn it around, you can see there's some print on the back. I just drew something freehand. You know, look, this is what I use. As you can see, I've already cut out from here. Why I use this was it's a lot tougher than construction paper. I mean, I could have used cardstock, but like I said, I have so much junk mail uh, that comes to my house. I just have to use it up. So I, I just kind of drew drew one piece out and then the next one I, I just traced over it so that we have something identical. Um, and then I painted it brown or dark brown just to make it look more authentic. So this is the paint I use, which is raw umber. You can use black. You don't have to um, go out and get specially this color. I just paint a lot. So this is something I already had. Yes, there's another part to um, the buckle. And basically that's what um, you need to get two of these. This is about two and a half inches and this one it just it, you just need to um, kind of you know it's, it's the part that holds the strap from from going up. Okay so I'm just going to glue that on here. I'm gonna eyeball it. Yeah okay so that looks about right. Okay glue it down. I'm just going to glue half of it, not, not the entire thing. Just make sure it's straight. I use a stronger glue because this is kind of slippery. I just want to make sure that it's centered. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. So I just let it dry. And in the meantime, I'm just going to put this over here. So you don't want to put it too high because later on when you want to go and open it, you'll, you'll be struggling to, you, you really have to bend the strap. So you want to kind of put it down lower where it's easy to remove, you know. Okay, so 
what I do is I, I kind of um, do half an inch of indentation on each side. So half an inch I fold. And again, eyeballing it. So I create a little bit of a gap to allow the strap to move. Let me just say that you probably don't want to have it too low as well that it's not secure. So try to find a happy medium somewhere. Again, I'm going to use this glue, glue it down. Make sure that both sides are in the center. And I'm just going to release this because this is drying. Later on, I'll, I'll put it back. And I will do the same for the other side. Okay, well, you can see that this is not drying well, so just give it some time. And it's slightly crooked, but you know, when you have all your stickers around, nobody's going to notice. So while it's drying, I'd like to um, put all the stickers onto and start decorating. That's the fun part. So this will be fast forwarded as well. Okay, so I finished. Now the next part is actually to uh, put in a little bit of decoration. So here I just put a little circle as if it's um, there's a button on it with a white pen. And um, and here on the actual strap, I'm just going to draw sewing lines around it. Then last, I'm just going to put... I actually sewed around this one because the other one I didn't. And I thought it was a bit plain. So let's see. That's the, the pocket. Of course, you can um, put more decorations uh, in it. So I just I just sewed around this one here. So all I'm going to do is to glue down the sides. So there you go. And we have our flap ready to go. I hope you have enjoyed this very, very short tutorial. Well, maybe not very short, but very easy tutorial. And um, I'd love to see what you made. If you, if you have a go at it, please tag me on your Instagram and um, yeah, please take a look at my Instagram as well at the slow life seven zero, the slow life seven zero. Thank you so much for being with me today and stay well, everybody. Bye.